Hi Taurus, how are you? Love you. Look, you know what your spirits are happy, but you know that we always come in. They always come in smiling and then they go like this. <laughs> Welcome to your weekly reading for April. The 17th through April the 23rd of 2016. I am Renee Michelle. This is my channel, Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spiritualist. Thank you in advance for the likes. Thank you in advance for the, the, the sharing and honey. That helps me so much. I'm always looking and watching. Yes, yes, yes. I'm happy for you guys. And happy for myself that we uh, come together and we're able to do this on this channel. There'll be no spiritual awareness this week, all right? And welcome to all the new subscribers, right? Also want to let the baby spiritualists, I call them baby spiritualists, some of them older than I am, but you know, the ones just starting out and not sure if they really want to be involved in this whole thing. Uh, I have a group meeting that I'm going to do on Google Hangouts, probably on May 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you can make it, you can make it. I um, still am, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look into how I can get that on my website. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I really need to talk to my, my baby webmaster, my girl, uh, Crystal, and see what is actually going on and how I can work with that. Big up to Kerry, and thank you for the photo. The photo is fabulous. Kerry picked the, um, the format for my website, and then she picked the picture for the website. So I thank Kerry for that. And I have Crystal Carrington doing my other work. Yes, Crystal Carrington, like Dynasty. Don't ask me. <laughs> That's that girl. Anyway, Taurus. Um, oh, gotcha. Let's get into your weekly reading. If you were supposed to get spiritual work for me and I haven't said I've started the work, there's a reason for that. I emailed you about name, your full name and date of birth. So can you please send me the full name and date of birth so I can get started on your work? Also, those who I've, I've done spiritual work for, can you please drop a girl an email so that I can add it to my testimonials? Because I don't just get YouTubers. I get everybody. So could you please? Oh, my deck is upside down. <laughs> Okay, Taurus. Taurus! Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Psychic ability. Intuition, confusion, disbelief, right? Somebody pulling the wool over your eyes. And that's what I feel like it really is. It's like the wool, right? Because it's almost like a fallacy, right? That you actually can see the Shangri-La of your life in front of you. But you're like, wait a minute. Where these crazy dogs come from? Where these wolves? And I don't even know if I want to step out into this craziness. Why everything looks so upside down, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, Taurus, I have no idea. Take a minute. Take a breath. Sit back, right? Because I feel like they got me showing this. And this is the moon becoming full look right here this is a moon card like cancer and all that stuff but i'm looking at it's almost like she's inside of a cocoon of the moon right right and there's these outer layers it's so crazy but there's these outer layers but that one slice right there it's not the moon it's mm, i think it's the moon waning back so i think it's when the full moon is going back Right? Is when this confusion is going to lift. Excuse me. Because I think the moon feels from this way to this way. And then away. Yeah. <laughs> when the moon, after the full moon and it starts to diminish, that's when the confusion should really lift. Right? Because coming into this week, something ended. Right? So that means that you're starting anew. I feel that Taurus is starting anew. Right? And I feel like um, it's, it's in a good time, right? Because they had me focus on that, on that, that hey, halo of a crown. And you guys are wearing that crown proudly. This is also the Taurus card. Do you not see the big bull with the horns and everything? All right. 
showing you and letting you know that, hey, you're going in the right direction, kid. Whatever this was ending, you knew it was going to end. You knew it was time. And coming to this week, you're settling into your wheels turning in a positive way, right? I kept pulling at this card, right? I set this card down, and I kept pulling at it. And I was like, yo, why it feel so thick? Because she's there, too. And look what we have here. We have another one, right? So there is a sense in you that there's an intuition, right, that I got to get my emotions under control. This is all you in, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I got to get my emotions under control. I have to use my intuition and my gut because I want to be um, seen for who I am really. Because I feel like this is about secrets. And what people don't know is that this manipulative um, emotional abuser is painting a picture of you that isn't true. Right? And you're like, no, look at me. This is me. This is me. Right? I don't know what this guy is talking about. And I feel like some of you may not even realize that this is over. Like, it's, 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 it's like, is it really? And I might be part of the moon card, that feeling of like, are you serious that I am not in this relationship? By Wednesday, you have a good, firm feeling, okay. The emperor, which is another abuser, mean person. This just might be over. Because <laughs> I feel that it is. The world card with the death card is done deal, babe. I'm drinking nice coffee. By being here, right? It's in Arlington, Washington. If you were in Arlington, Washington, right? If you were going to buy eight drinks and get the ninth for free. I got all nine for free. Michelle gave me a free pack. She's starting a business being here. And y'all have to get involved. Go buy it. She's going to be there at 26804 SR9 Northeast and E, Arlington, Washington. Wow, that's something else. Thank you, my dear. She said, thank you. I hope you like this better than Starbucks. You know what I'm sending you. That's gonna, the pack is going to take a little time, but the work, I'm going to start right now. I'm going to start that very soon for you to make sure that we put the icing over the top, right? Of that beautiful cake that you created over there in Washington. Okay, so this is done. I don't know if she has a website. Spirit just guided me to see if there was a website on here. Michelle, we need your website. <laughs> okay. Um. At the end of the week, something sudden happens, right? Because there's a tower card. And like I said, I was about to say to you about the center of the, of the reading of the middle of the week, about the world card. You're saying, well, Renee, you know, you're doing all major arcana. No, because they could have used something else. They could have used the tower. Like something happened, but y'all are going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? But when they use the world card and the death card, it's a done deal, right? And I could have took from it anything but that it was over but I feel like right in front of me they look at I'm looking dead at that globe it's done right so there's a, something that happens that's sudden and quick something that you know about something that you didn't think about something you wouldn't even have thought about but when it comes to you it makes you sign in your glory you're like wow yes right because you're moving the outcome of the week I feel like some of you are, are addicted, right? Addiction is coming up because I feel like with this eclipse, bad things are supposed to end, so you're supposed to move away from things. Devil is often an abusive relationship, but I feel like by the end of the week, you, you realize something, and you start to lean on God about it because I feel like some of you know now that you are dis addicted to the abuser. You are addicted to the abuse, right? And now... That you're not being abused, you're very confused and don't know what to do. Because I feel like a lot of you have been abused most of your life, so you don't know how to live like this. Beating yourself up a lot, right? But stay in prayer, right? Because I feel like y'all are praying. Stay in prayer. The three, to me, is the, uh, the, the Lord, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. 
It's somebody that's addicted to like liquor and wine, right? Because the wine, you know, has been healing the pain. And, and some of you, when you get drunk, you get nasty. Yeah, and so you're going to have to. The outcome of the week is that rearing this ugly head as you try to get through your emotions, as you try to see clearly what you want to do for the rest of your life without abuse. You need to contact me and let's go over spiritual awareness. Email me and I'll send you a format on how to get through spiritual awareness and, and heal yourself. Good, Michelle. I like it. It's light. Nice. Thank you, guys. Stay blessed. Ashe. See you next week. Love you.